Are you and the boys creeping and prowling around trying to steal stuff? But every time you're about to land a big score, there's always somebody there just ready to stop you in your tracks? What's a burglar gotta do? Well, introducing Loba. Using our patent pending technology, you can steal stuff without even stepping foot inside a house. Simply select what you want, then it will instantly teleport to you. It's so simple, even a bronze player could do it. So what are you waiting for? Try Loba today. Side effects of Loba can include disconnected teammates, creepy stares at your rear, at least one thick joke, and third party syndrome. Please consult your doctor before using Loba. Loba. Because thievery has never looked this good. When Revenant was sent to kill Marcos Andrade, he left a little girl orphaned. That little girl was a young Loba. Ever since that painful day, she has seeked revenge on Revenant. She needed to survive on her own first. She was put into the system with foster parents, but quickly realized that she has a knack for burglary. She left her foster family and lived on her own, surviving as a pickpocket. She became an incredible thief, even robbing a supposed impenetrable facility where she found this jump drive tech. With her new teleportation bracelet, nothing was out of her reach. She became notorious in the Outlands. Do you need something that's impossible to get? Call Loba. She'll get it. Everything changed when her friend, whose name is unknown so we'll just call him Simp Rick, found out that Revenant joined the Apex Games. She had to kill him, so she snuck into the games and sabotaged a facility full of Revenant bodies and tried to kill Revenant's mind, but ultimately failed and ended up destroying all of the Thunderdome and Skulltown in the process. Can we get an F in the chat for Skulltown? <laughs> Alexa, play Skulltown Road! However, she learned that this was just one of the many factories like this hidden in the frontier, so she joined the Apex games to kill Revenant once and for all and also to uncover the hidden treasures that lie beneath. Of course, with every new legend, we get a brand new season. No new map this time, nor did we get a new gun, but what we did get is incredible. As I mentioned before, Skulltown is gone, but in its place is this awesome excavation area, and the skull is hoisted up by a crane. It's so dope. Relay is gone too, but this dope rig is there, and we got a new area next to labs, which makes the map overall feel a lot bigger. There are also these ult stations throughout the map that instantly get you and your team their ultimate, so check out those. The anvil receiver is gone and skull piercer is back. Mirage got reworked so you actually get bamboozled. I'll be making Mirage 2.0 for noobs at 2000 Twitch subs, just an FYI. We have a new PvE mode, which at the time of recording this, I still haven't tried because you need to get a bunch of these treasure things, but you can only get one a day, so uh, I'll discuss that another time. Gold armor no longer fast heals, but double cells and syringe heals. The peacekeeper is a care package gun, and the mastiff is now in the regular game. And the best new thing that we got is now that when you disconnect, you can finally rejoin your games. Oh. Same thing. Pop this ult. Where's Oh it's out. It's not one over there. Oh no! Like crossway. Hey, I got, I got get shot. I think I think I can rejoin you though. I think I can rejoin. Let me just let me check. Just stand up for a second. Stand up for a second. They might they I might like that you have a little bit of a delay looting through this. Oh I'm back, I'm back! That's it! Oh my god, that's awesome! Every season has their bugs or two. But once they get fixed, this may very well be the best season. Dare I say, the thickest season? Anyways, so now that you know who Loba is, let's learn how to play her, shall we? Loba's tactical ability is Burglar's Best Friend, aka Jump Drive, aka Teleport Bracelet, which basically teleports her to wherever she throws the bracelet. You can go up to the top of a hill, quickly down to the bottom, that goes really far though, god damn. Or even across a gorge. Seriously, it's like the new skull area was made with Loba in mind. Where are they at? Ping them? Like right in front of me. Right here. In the middle of a big fight, if the enemies are unaware of you, you can get some sneaky kills from an advantageous position. You can even throw her bracelet in the air when using the jump pad or zip lining. On the catwalk. Just be careful, once you use the tactical, you can't cancel it, so you just go wherever it lands. Where'd I go? Shoot. Even off the map. 
jump drive. Just kidding. She won't let you kill yourself that easily, you noob. In the middle of a fight, it could be a great tool to quickly yeet yourself out of there. I'm going out. Or you can even get yourself back into the ring quicker. But it's not fast, so if you don't time it right, you are just a sitting duck waiting to die. So it's not ideal for a rescue mission where you go in, grab the banner, and get out. Oh, come on! Also, it's very loud, so it can notify the whole lobby that Loba is coming. Time's up, and we're not in the ring. Move now. So be cautious, but once you get the hang of the teleportation, you'll get some thick kills for sure. Bro, what are you doing, bot? Yeah. Let's go, boys! Oh, snap the booty, though! Loba's passive ability is Eye for Quality, where she can see nearby epic and legendary loot through the walls and even in the bins. This is very useful on drop when you're landing contested. You can go for the good loot first. People will be amazed at your ability to tell the future. So there's a golden backpack in here, by the way. Supply bin here. You can even ping through walls. Uh, well, this is a position choke, and that's a Up double tap lane. Double tap trigger. <laughs> <laughs> you may accidentally bamboozle your team if you don't know exactly where the item is. I see a purple armor in there. Bottom floor on the right. In the bin. I guess it's the bin. Huh. Hee <laughs> hee. Baited. Haha, <laughs> baited. But a good teammate will use this ability to speed up the looting process. Don't worry. Hey man, there's a blue helmet in here? I got one. No, sorry, I meant the purple helmet. Yeah, go grab it. Good boy. Her ultimate is Black Market Boutique. Whoops, boutique. She uses her Loba staff, which she got from her dad, by the way, fun fact, to put down a black market that can take loot from anywhere in its radius, except off of, you know, the people that are alive, and you and your teammates can steal any two items each. For ammo, you'll steal a stack, and for heals, you'll also steal a stack, not just one. This is great when there are just too many dead bodies around, and not enough time to loot them all. In the middle of a fight, it's great to grab health or even armor swaps. This can also help a fallen teammate get good loot quickly after after they've been revived. Bada bing, bada sloop. Let's do some shopping. That's my new Loba catchphrase, do you like it? <laughs> Only to kill themselves again. God. No, no, Did no! You really? Really? It has a hitbox, so it can be used as cover. But like Watson's ult, it can be destroyed. Right here? Enemies can use your shop, and likewise, you can use theirs. Bro, there's 1,300 light ammo right here. Uh, what? Are you, you're, you're tr oh, in, in the area. Look at all this loot, dude. Just like, just scroll through it for the video. Oh, it's evil. Crazy. Yeah, the evil. Oh my God, you can see. Talk about a store. Oh, I actually, yeah, I actually need the shotgun bow. I'll take the shotgun bow. So it's smart to collapse your ultimate after your team uses it. Collapsed. Before you go in and third party a team, you can steal their loot and then fight them, which is uh pretty toxic and kind of hilarious. Oh yeah, baby. Put this here. I'm gonna see if they have. I'm gonna see if they have loot on the dead bodies. Uh, oh, golden, a golden Eva. Eva shotgun here. Gold, I got, I'll take the bat pack. And I'll take this, I'll take this barrel stabilizer. This is so scuffed. That's actually <laughs> so dirty. Growing up, I was just like Loba. Small and helpless. My parents didn't get killed by a murderous robot. But we both grew up and now look at us. Both thick AF. So you know I understand Loba at a fundamental level. So listen to these pro tips. Number one. Loba's bracelet is small enough to fit through windows. Meaning you can pull off some cheeky plays. Or just use it as a way to escape a bad situation. Make sure that when you do teleport through windows, that you know it's safe. Or you'll regret that decision immediately. But if done right, it's so busted. 35 seconds, but you know, his swing time or other like traffic. I mean, got it. Reloading. Dude, I just teleported oh into the window. God. Oh my god. Did you see that? Did you see that? That's actually crazy. I saw that, yeah. That is in. Oh. Number two. When playing, you'll notice that your tactical may not work around Watson's ultimate. I couldn't do that? And it's true. The ultimate will just eat it up like a nade. Activating jump drive. But you'll get your tactical right back. A couple other characters can cancel Sorry, your jump, jump drive, drive, like Revenant Silence oh, no, no. Oh, or Rate's Portal. Jump drive set. 
So just keep that in mind when playing Loba. Number three, while Loba's playstyle may seem like it would be similar to Pathfinder's since she can get to most places people can't, she is a support. So I would say that she fits well into two types of compositions, very aggressive comps and a little more campy comps. Paired with Path, Wraith, or even Octane, she can get into really good positions and pull off some amazing plays. Or if you're playing with Watson, Gibby, Lifeline, Caustic, you can basically sit up in a room and even get free loot with her ultimate. It really is up to your playstyle. Number four, you cannot steal from bins that aren't opened yet. Same with care packages, but you can steal from the dropships before they even land. It's the perfect heist. You can steal from the dropship without even setting foot on the dropship. Oh, oh happening. Uh, there it is. I oh, see. Oh, what oh. is it? What is it? What is it? What's the gold thing? Anything? Oh, purple armor. I'm taking it. Ah! <laughs> the heist. We just robbed. We just robbed it, chat. Take that, George Clooney. Ocean's 11. Nah, we just needed three. Loba's kit is pretty great, but is she going to break the meta? I'm unsure, but I do think that some parts of her kit could be better. It would be cool to see med kits and batteries through walls as well. In fact, I think Loba should have a menu in like the settings that allow for you to choose which items you can and can't see through walls. Just because something is purple, it doesn't mean it's the bee's knees, you know? And lastly, her teleporter is good and fun, but you have to walk while using it. And this is so jarring for a game that is so fast paced. Allowing for her to run while using the bracelet would make her a lot better. With these changes in mind, I think we'd have a very strong legend. But in her current state, she's good and may affect the meta, but I don't think that's likely. But for noobs, I would say that she is actually not that easy to play, but not that hard to play. She's somewhere in the medium range. The only really complicated part of her kit is her bracelet, but once you get used to that, it's not that bad. But what do you guys think? Do you think Loba is easy to play? Do you think Loba is hard to play? Do you think she needs buffs like I suggested? Or do you think she needs nerfs? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay guys, I gotta go back to the place that I just robbed. I walked out with the TV but no remote. I'll catch you later, ya noob.